Hello Michael, hopefully you are feeling a lot better. I'm on uh, cricket, this is a cr uh, in England, we have a game called cricket. It's uh, on the TV and um, we play like Australia and places like that. New Zealand, the game of cricket. I think the old Commonwealth took it to uh, Australia and New Zealand or what have you. Basically, you have sort of three stumps up there, and three or oh, three or four stumps either end. I haven't played for years. <laughs> Last time I played, I knocked some child out when I was about. I must have been about nine and ten. So you sort of bowl it, bowl over arm the ball, and they're really hard. How <laughs> I knocked this poor kid out? I hit him on the head. So I let I let go too high. So I wasn't I wasn't that good wasn't that good at cricket so oh yeah i was i was probably good at knocking people out at a distance so you know if i was a um an ancient man or what have you so yeah this is a, a cricket pitch it goes in a circle so yeah so they sort of uh in there because the, the balls are really hard i think they're willow or no the bats are willow i think um and obviously the balls that are so hard you get they knock you out if you've got it, someone throw it at, at speed you've got it on the your forehead or whatever yeah, that and knock you out so anyway I'm a, um i just done my blood pressure it's over 100 again oh, i get <laughs> i'll give up with the doctors to be honest so i'm taking the medication it's just not making any difference so i don't I, I don't trust any of the health organizations especially the world health organization you can see the lines there so this is say this is a cricket pitch it's obviously if you've obviously seen a football pitch so yeah so it just goes in one big circle and uh yes yeah, so we they play cricket i don't know if they've got any pitches Yeah, so you get so many runs or something. So if someone's in this centre, and they uh, they can get a six. So if you if you uh, hit the ball from the wicket or something, and it comes over this line, I think you get uh, six runs, and you get obviously run per direction or something. I haven't played cricket for years, so and of course we got the old football coming up, um, international football. So that might be interesting. Sweden do quite well in the football. So uh, some of us can walk around here. Oh, I'm walking oh, on this grass. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just doing this uh, video. I try, try to cheer you up, brother. Um, yeah, we got we got some real mental health challenges. Um, obviously, sadly, a lot of people's businesses have been destroyed since the pandemic. Um, yeah, we just got to fight them, you know. So these people make these uh, viruses allegedly at Wuhan or whatever, but it was certainly the virus came from somewhere. And uh, I think it was a lot less harmful. Uh, um, that I think the vaccines were the harmful part. So certainly the vaccines uh, that gave a lot of people side effects and death and what have you. So we've got uh, an MP, Andrew Bridgen. He, uh, he's been looking into it. And I, I think there's going to be a government inquiry about it. Obviously how the Conservatives handled it or whatever. Um, and obviously World Health Organisations involved and but so many lies there's, there were so many lies I'm not going to throw out many names but this Andrew Bridgen he seems like a decent MP in the UK so he's taken that on um, yeah so there's some you know obviously there's some platforms um, I listen to Alex Jones he uh, he seems to get a lot of information 
Um, who else do we listen to? We listen to um, Tucker Carlson. Yeah, so I just listen to some of the main YouTubers or, you know, people's got their own platforms. I listen on podcast. I've got a podcast app on my phone. So if you, if you can't be... Sometimes it's nice to listen to someone speaking to you while you're asleep, you know. So, so I listen to this Alex Jones talking all about the conspiracies and what's been going on and what have you. Well, they, they're quite reliable and quite reliable information. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Alex Jones seems to get a lot of the uh, conspiracies right. Um... Yeah, he, obviously things happened to Sandy Hook or something or other. I think his team went there or something a few years ago. and I'm not sure what really happened there or, you know, so that's, that's it. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Um, well, I'm not really a theorist, am I? Because I actually get, <laughs> I get actual real pictures of UFOs and strange phenomena, you know. You, you see the, you know, like these trees in the distance there on that Horton Heath. Obviously, I was a lot further away and you could see these strange lights above the trees and these objects coming down these orbs and things. So, I'm probably one of the most successful ufologists in the UK. So, uh, but no one funds me, no one backs me. You know, imagine what I could do if someone actually funded me. Um, I'll probably get a lot more stuff. These things, I don't know, these, it just seems too much, so much of a coincidence. I see a lot of things. I saw something not so far from here. I'm in North Hampshire. I saw something on a hill, this strange light above a hill. Um, oh yeah, and you know, so maybe, right, I'm going to go do a 90 degree right on top of the sky. I walked along the Basingstoke Canal. Seriously, uh, late at night back, I was taking pictures of the sky and that. So, luckily, the Basingstoke Canal is a really dark area. So, anyway, I just took a random picture right above me in the sky. There's this huge object up there. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. It's, it's a, I described it as something else, but I'll say it's let's say it looked like a hot dog, you know, one like one of those hot dogs you put in your in your um uh, in 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 a, a bun or whatever, you know, a hot dog in a long roll or something. I described it to friends looking like something else because it was it looked brown. So obviously, if you're having dinner, I don't want you to be uh, put you off your dinner, but it certainly looks something strange and. Uh, long, yeah, so I just took, I could take random pictures in the sky and you always uh, um, come across something. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. Well, that um, Nag Hammadi, ah, oh, that's amazing, man. I wish I got a lot earlier, you know, obviously being a Catholic and Gnostic. But, you know, it's really hard to come across books like that. But, oh, it means so much to me, you know. Um, yeah, so I guess you've got to keep busy, go out for walks, um, I presume it's getting a bit warmer there in Sweden, uh, yeah, you just got to keep yourself busy, um, yeah, um, luckily, I, you know, obviously I don't live on my own, so, um, I, you know, I pop around and see my brother, I've got a lot of friends, go to Stockholm, brother. Just, you know, I don't know how you're doing financially. Um, but obviously, a lot, a lot of countries around the world, they, you know, it's not a lot of... Um, it's not a lot of work or something. I mean, I'm... Do you know, I'm not... I don't think I've had any calls about decorating, so... Um, obviously, I left a lot of my tools on the Isle of Wight and I gave a lot of my stuff away. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I'm not too far away from retirement. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've just done a... Hey, I'll show you. This is crazy, look. So, I don't know if it's these um, objects I see that gives me the high blood pressure. So, hang on, let's see if I can find the blood pressure. I might sit down, wouldn't it? Here we go.
No, I just find those the blood pressure reading. I think it's got to be around 80 or something to be normal. Let's, let's see if I can find them. Good, isn't it? I, I've done a blood pressure reading, I can't find the paperwork. Just look in my wallet. That's 102, that's really high. Apparently, apparently, I dropped me wallet, apparently in England, there's a lot, there's a, like, a pandemic of high blood pressure, which they're trying to hide, I think. I don't know, it's a strange way. I mean, obviously with Putin and um, what have you. I mean, obviously those orthodox guys upset you as well. So you just got to ignore it. I've had, if you, if you hear and see or read what some of the comments I get are some of these strange objects, you know, uh, it's probably a lot of it's with the MOD. So they obviously try and say, oh, no, that's a seagull. It's a... It's um, a bird or what have you, you know, um, I don't know, in the sky or, you know, obviously at night, it's uh, a bright star and what have you. I've had that all over the years. I mean, I've, had, I've, got, I've got some close-up of some really strange objects, you know, um, or strange things. I mean, a lot of it can be military stuff, I should imagine. So, yeah, a lot of it can be military. Um yeah, well, drones, in it. So, uh, huh. I went to War Minister on this annual War Minister UFO um, thing they do. That's with old Steve Wills. So I went to War Minister on a Skywatch. They have like an annual Skywatch. I went, oh, must be way back in 2019 or 20. I can't remember. So anyway, we're up there. I sort of taken my new cameras, and I took. A, I did see some strange things. I even felt something went right above us. So I'm, uh, so I'm up this hill. Uh, is it Cradle Hill or something? There's two hills there. Um, Cradle Hill, and I can't remember the other one. But anyway, the one that you're allowed up. So we've done a run annual sky watch up there. Uh, so obviously, it was my first time, myself and my brother, who we went up there. And there was even a guy, a paranormal guy, with all his equipment up there as well. And, uh, yeah, so we uh, did a sky watch. And, yeah, I actually did get some um, some images of the, I don't know if they were all, it was sort of that eye, eye level, what have you. But, yeah, we live in a strange world, you know. Um, there's a lot of things we don't understand. And I should imagine our MOD or the military or even our scientists don't know what a lot of this phenomena is. Um, we're certainly getting visited. I mean, obviously David Icke talks about um, reptilians and things like that. So, I, yeah, I agree with him. There is, you know, there is, there is some strange things out there. Demonic. I mean, a lot of this could be demonic as well, so... Um, yeah, so I mean, what I've seen, you know, like uh, those above the tree line at Halton Eve, that was definitely spiritual, so 100%. I mean, I spoke to that lady, she sees angels, so but that's it. You just, I don't know, it's a coincidence or synchronicity. I'll come across these people, I just buying a book, I'm buying a map, try to sort of learn the Basingstoke area. And uh, I, uh, I come across this lady, started chatting, and she was she goes, oh, she's buying all these cards. Like, I thought they were tarot cards, but they wasn't. They were they were called angel cards. And uh, yeah, she she actually says she sees angels. I've never heard that. I've never heard anyone say they see angels. So 
Um, so I think I put something on the on my uh, YouTube channel. I, I, I think I said it's like that Robbie Williams song, "Loving Angels" instead. So I mean, I was seeing some strange things above trees. So but I've looked it. Oh, I got you know the Nag Hammadi, the the book from Egypt that was found. Was it in a bottle or jar or whatever it was? Fragments like the um, Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, Yes, I've been looking there. It's got so much about trees. If you look in the Nag Hammadi, the, oh, it's got loads about trees. You know, obviously, we're talking about Adam and Eve, um, you know, in the Garden of Eden, and they're obviously near a tree and what have you. And they shouldn't have eaten the fruit from the tree. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> if God said to me, don't eat from that tree. I certainly want to eat from that tree. So, um, yeah, Jesus or Yeshua. That's an amazing story. Oh, yeah, I believe it. I mean, I think I think with all the strange things I've seen, I certainly do. You know, I do believe there's a, a spiritual world out there, and they do certainly visit us. I mean, obviously, I see a lot of UFOs and things like that. Uh, orbs which you could say is spiritual I and mean, my friend Kerry I hope if she does what she's hope she don't mind well she uh, sadly she she had the um, the injection and uh, sadly she got um, a lot of blood clots oh, Andrew Bridge and she listened to this yeah but she got a lot of blood clots in the in in her legs she actually sent me the pictures you know um, during the operation and she actually saw black orbs she saw black orbs during the uh, um, operation so she woke up or something so that's what she said or she dreamt she woke up but anyway she she said she saw black orbs during the operation and uh, she had sadly she had both her legs cut open but she's in a lot better health and I actually prayed for her you know this I was with my brother sitting in, sitting in the car, yeah, at Black Gan Chine on the Isle of Wight. And um, I remember hearing this strange voice in the car. So did my brother. I thought, he sort of said, oh, did you say so? I said, no. And it sounded like there was a voice in the car. I thought, that's bloody odd. And anyway, I got home. We, Oh, yeah, I was doing a live TikTok. I did a lot of TikToks during this time. Um, I think it was back in 2021 or something like that when I was doing a lot of TikToks. Anyway, I thought, we thought we heard a voice in the car. So I got home and I reviewed me, um, my live TikTok. And there was a voice. There was, there was a voice I could, between um, these two songs. A voice. It just simply said, what do you want? We can meet any time. And I thought, oh, you know, what, <laughs> who was that? Was it an alien or God or an angel or, you know? So, uh, so what I said, I, I said, I want, um, you know, uh, Kerry to get better. You know, obviously, she had all those blood clots in her legs. And, uh, blame me, she, uh, she fully recovered from it. She was in Southampton Hospital. She was in a bad way. Imagine having both your legs cut, cut open to remove blood clots. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, amazing. So, so that was my wish, make Kerry better. And, um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know if I got in, but I am, you know, I believe in God and Jesus. And the Gnostics, I certainly believe in the Gnostics. And I think that's amazing. You find a book in a jar in the desert of Egypt. And that's, and that, you know, that's similar to the Bible story, wasn't it? Of course, you had uh, Pharaoh, didn't you? Um, uh, yeah, Pharaoh and Moses, didn't you? So that makes it remarkable. So you've got Moses, the story of Moses and Pharaoh, and this Nag Hammadi, Nag Hammadi books found in, uh, in uh, Egypt. That's just amazing. So, yeah. Just see all these coincidences, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking up. There's all these trees, and I saw those objects.
above the trees at Halton Heath. So if anyone's viewing, it's not in Hampshire, this is Halton Heath at Dorset. So, um, yeah, these are the figures above the tree line. So basically, you, you saw, saw some orbs appear in the sky and they sort of settled on the tree. They turned into like human figures or or holy holy spirits above the tree line. And I, I got 200 pictures. So it doesn't matter how people say how crazy, crazy they are. My pictures are not wrong. So I'm probably the only person who's got images of holy spirits above the trees. And I, I thank God for that. You know, the good God. I thank the good God for that and Jesus. So, um, yeah, I certainly believe. And then, of course, I met that lady in Basingstoke. She's talking about um, she sees angels. Well, there's people out there. I bet there's, I bet there's other people out there see some strange things as well. Or Holy Spirits or, um, yeah, so or other biblical characters, you know. As far as I'm concerned, I saw the Holy Trinity, you know, they... Um, saw the Holy Ghost, the Mother Mary, and possibly Jesus or Joseph, depending who was above the trees. I certainly got, um, assuming if it was Mary Magdalene, she was in, to in total yellow or mustard colour. I've been looking at uh, Providence in France. Um, obviously, uh, it was thought that Mary Magdalene landed in um, Providence, southern France. I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, the whole area is all like mustard colour. It's got mustard, um, mustard plants and stuff for, you know, mustard sort of colour in Providence. And uh, yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised she did land in southern France. And did she, you know, I think she would have been around 45 or something, I worked out previously. So, she's old enough to have another child, so, looking at <laughs> Da Vinci Co. 4 or whatever, you know, so, yeah, amazing. Anyway, I'm going to end, end this now, it's not a live stream, but I'm going to end this now. It's just a long video, but was some, of, some of my theories. Anyway, to my ufologist friends, hello. And uh, Michael, get better soon. And um, yeah, so you got, you got a lot of friends. Go to Stockholm, brother. See some of your friends. I don't know. What, I don't know what your work is like at the moment. So, way the world's going. And these globalists, and um, I think the Who's ended or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so yeah, people are in large numbers. They're not putting up with these globalists anymore so certainly people around the world are not putting up with it anymore so that's clear anyway i'm going to walk through that cricket field it's like the old posh guys they say um if something's not quite right or something's um oh what's it if it's um deception or something like that or someone's cheating they, they say, oh, that's not cricket or something like that, apparently. Or if it's, uh, yeah, unsporting, like, oh, that's not cricket. Because cricket is supposed to be a gentleman's game. And, uh, you know, obviously, fairness and what have you. So, there. Yeah. These are nice pictures here. Yeah, so, the way the world's been going, it's not cricket. Anyway, take care, and I'll, uh, I'll do another keep well. Just keep your spirits high, because I know it's been a horrible few years. See lockdown and viruses and jabs and what have you. But I think the people, I went there, we've got an MP um, uh, who's uh, looking in, Andrew Bridgen. So he's been looking into the old vaccines and what have you and the side effects and everything else, so, which is good. Anyway, my followers and my ufologist friends, hello. And I'm uh, getting a bit of exercise because, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a bad chest, so...
something on my chest. So I don't know, I've done my blood pressure's over a hundred again. So I don't know. Yeah. That's the world we live in. Anyway, take care, Michael, and uh, I'll speak soon. Bye.